loop recorder is a device that is meant to catch symptoms that are infrequent. Or you sometimes have people who have a stroke and you're worried it might be AFib, but you do a 30 day monitor, you're not really sure. You put a longer term monitoring, you will know for sure whether they're having AFib and whether they need to be on blood thinners or not. So loop recorders are great devices for these situations. The only caution I give is because they become so easy to put in, sometimes I'm seeing patients where they're having very frequent symptoms, their symptoms are daily or weekly or every every other week, and they easily could have had a one or two week monitor or at most a four week monitor and definitely catch their heart rhythm and make the diagnosis. But because somebody gets paid more to put a little loop recorder in because it's a procedure, they end up getting a loop recorder and two days later, somebody makes the diagnosis and you're thinking, do you really, really need to spend you know a couple thousand dollars of our healthcare resources to do that when you could have put an inexpensive monitor to get the same result in just a couple days, but people get paid for doing it. And that's why some less scrupulous doctors may do that. But the real reason why it was invented was to catch longer infrequent symptoms. So I would say we're living in a great time these days because nowadays we have so many ways of diagnosing your heart rhythm. So if you say I've had palpitations for ages, I never knew what it was, but now I've got a smartwatch, I got a cardio mobile device, somebody puts a loop recorder in, 30 day monitors, we will catch your rhythm, we will make the diagnosis, and then we can tell you what's going on and put your mind at ease. And if you really are having atrial fibrillation, we can make that diagnosis and treat you appropriately. Really.